year starting now with uh, RQ since this 24-7 title has been uh, you know, coming about here on Prom. Uh, what do you think about this whole experience for RQ? Oh, it's so fun. I've been saying, you know, this time last year, I was walking into SummerSlam with the title as champion. I was one of the most hated people in the company. Um, so to be where I'm at now, to, I could have never guessed in a million years that I'd be where I'm at now that I'm actually a good guy and people sort of like me and I'm having fun and I'm just getting to show this different silly fun side of me, myself and my character and I'm, I'm just really loving it. Yeah, and last year you brought up how you came in, the title, and now this year you're kind of like the champion because everywhere our troop is going, yeah. you're part of that process. Yeah. So this whole 24-7 title, you're all, every week you guys steal the segments, online is so popular. Did you think it had the same impact when it started? You know, I knew like when Truth and I got together that it was, it was different. It's something that people don't see or like. It's just, it's different and it works. And um, I knew it would eventually gain the popularity that it's getting. It was just a matter of time. And you know, we did the whole mix match challenge and that was really popular. We won that, which was great. But to be where at now, I'm not surprised. I feel like it was just a matter of time before our real chemistry got out there. Okay, hold on. Where are we at? Because I'm like, I do a lot of things, but I'm not a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> You're like basically Albert Einstein. I'm basically running right now. Can I trust you guys? Can I trust you? Nobody trying to pin me or nothing like that, right? <laughs> right? I mean, seriously, right? Okay, cool. We're cool. So what are we talking about? You? Yes, your chemistry. <laughs> click between you two because there was there is a certain uh, attraction there that everyone can see but what clicked it for you guys probably to storyline it from day one like it wasn't wasn't ever supposed to be anything this time last year he was trying to pin me to get an opportunity at the title and um, we just had all these backstages and then all of a sudden it was just like it happened even the very first time we found out we we're gonna do mix match challenge together we had to film something together and right. we, we didn't know I didn't know him we didn't know me we never really never spoke. met I just like seen each other pass and we just it. did that one video and it was like it just clicked and I don't know the rest is sort of history we don't have to force anything like our backstages or the videos we do for the 24 7 title there's no script it's just us and I think that's why it works in Italy, it is a 24 7 championship and that's a great success. And, uh, you are the frontman of this uh, return of how many rests in there. Right. What do you think about this? About being funny, uh, the comedy part of wrestling? Yeah. Um, I think it's great. It's awesome. Um, I don't think we have anything else to prove. She's been champion, I've been champion. Um, we've been in the business long enough to where, like, there's so much wrestling, not to knock, not to knock other wrestling, but there's so much wrestling that people are not going to be able to miss it. But the entertainment is back in that we just break the monotony a little bit. We give you that roller coaster, we give you something to laugh at, while you can go be mad at Samoa Joe. We give you something to smile about, while you can cheer the heroic Roman Reigns. You know what I'm saying? So we're just that meeting that gives you the thing that breaks the monotony. In this. I personally love it. Anyone can go out there and wrestle, yes. but not everyone, not to shoot our own horns, but not everyone can just go and be part of the entertainment factor, you know? Some people are strictly wrestlers, some people are strictly entertainment, but I feel like we can do both, and that's really cool. Yes. Complete package. Period. Uh, Carmella, a team. if there's a match on SummerSlam, dream match like Charlotte versus Trish, uh, if you were to get that opportunity against anybody from the past so that they can come in, a Hall of Famer, would you, that be your ideal opponent? I mean, definitely Trish. And the fact that she's here this year is like, oh, that could actually happen. I feel like that was something that seemed so far-fetched. Um, but now she's here in her hometown. It's really cool. And uh, I'm really excited for that match. Our true 
same question sort of to you. You're the champ right now. If anybody from the past were to come back and step up, maybe out of nowhere to challenge you for that belt, who would you hope it is? Oh, man. Probably John Cena, man, because I watched him a lot when I was a kid, you know? <laughs> to, like, and to, to like be in the ring with him would be like, you know, like a childhood dream come true. So I probably take him. Yeah. Booker? With Booker T, I watched him when I was a kid too. Yes, yeah. I mean, you see, you guys seem to, to be on similar tracks. No, we're both black. <laughs> yeah. Right.